This is just a quick video to help anyone that's attempting to build a 6502 pod for the Fluke 9010A using one of my board sets. Um, this is, as far as I know, only applicable to board versions 2 and 3. And uh, the problem is that although the boards are supposed to be bare board tested, there appears to be a short on some of the boards. It may not affect the boards you have, but certainly if you're having problems with the build, then you should check this. It may um, be the cause of your problems. Um, big uh, thanks to the two people that have helped me with this. Had two customers that have fed back some extremely useful information, uh, helped me track this down, and um, they've both um, made the fix that I'm going to suggest here. In fact, one of them came up with the uh, fix themselves and passed it back to me. And um, on one of them, it's totally fixed his pod. It now runs fine. The other one, it got it to pass the self-test, but now I think he's got a, a, a different issue that he's got to resolve, um, but I think he's unrelated to this now. Um, but in both cases, it resolved the major problem they were having. So if we look at an original um, pod, this, or rather the one of the first um, version uh, board sets, if we measure um, from uh, pin 16 and up to this top left hand pin, pin 1 on the ROM, I'll get the meter in so you can see it, then you can see there should be a connection but there should not be a connection to the six pin in from uh, the left on the top row of this connector. So as you can see, there is no connection there, but there is up there. Uh, this is also, um, this pin is connected to pin 24 on the IC as well. So you can test it there as well, and there should be a connection going to there, but not to here. Uh, unfortunately on some of the boards there is a short on the board. Now unfortunately I've checked all the boards I have uh, lying around in stock and none of them are affected so I've simulated on this uh, board the problem. I just basically um, bridged the track and uh, one of the pads. Uh, chances are you've got the socket fitted so you'll have to test it from the um, socket itself. Um, but what you're looking for is a short between pins uh, 16 and 24 on U4. So get that out of the way. And so from this pin, pin 16, back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there should not be a connection on these two. So if I try it on another board, so again, you've probably got the socket in the way. Um, so just test it with a socket. It doesn't make any difference if the socket's there but you shouldn't have a connection to here. So as you can see, there is no connection. She's not soldered in, I'll just put this here so you can see uh, roughly what you're going to be testing. And there should be a connection up to here. Get out of the way. Okay, so no connection there but there is a connection up to there. So that board's fine, but if you find you've got a short, then what you need to do is cut the track here, cut the track there, and put a wire link from uh, this pin up to the end of the track you've cut. There's some close-ups here of the two customers that have done this. I'll just pull those images up now. So that's the first one you can see. It's just cutting a single track and putting a wire link in. Uh, and this is another way of doing it. And that results in a working pod. So apologies to anyone that's affected. Um, I know there's a lot of information going around the forums about the protection modules being faulty and this sort of thing. And I think that's what um, these customers may have believed, but it uh, turned out not to be um, faulty protection modules, which is kind of what uh, we, we kind of knew anyway. Um, but uh, many thanks to um, the two customers for helping with this and um, hopefully this will help others if you've got the same problem. As I say, it only affects a very small number of boards, um, but if you are having problems then definitely check this. I've checked the rest of the board 
I've done effectively a bare ball test here uh, with the boards that I have and they seem fine so I think this is the only issue on them. Uh, I've gone back to the manufacturer to try and find out what went wrong here and uh, if I can get any information I will of course let you know um, what's gone on. Um, I'm not holding out much hope of getting anything back but if I do find something then of course I will let you know. Um, in the meantime um, check this out if you're having problems building the pod and uh, hopefully that will resolve your issue. If you haven't built your pod yet and you're not quite sure if you have the issue or not, if you can send me an image, a close-up image of this area of the board around U4, I'll be able to tell you if you have the uh, problem or not. As I say, it only affects a small number of boards, so you may well find that uh, your board is fine. Um, if you haven't built your pod yet and you want a replacement board, then let me know. I'll ship you out a new one. Just send me an image so that uh, I can check the board you have first. And uh, apologies again for the aggravation.